If you are looking for ways to remove ear wax blockage fast, today I'm gonna to share with you four powerful ways to remove ear wax. I'm so excited to share with you these DIY approaches because they can greatly save you time, inconvenience, and frustration when it comes to overwhelm of blocked ear wax. Let's dig into today's video. Hi friends, I'm Dr. Melissa Gallagher. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll hit the subscribe button and give this video a like because a lot of my ear health videos are extremely popular here on YouTube. Many of them have over a million views and have helped millions of individuals deal with junky, gunky, clogged, ear wax ridden ear canals. And today I wanna to share with you four of the most powerful ways for you to resolve ear wax. First, I wanna highlight a tool that might be helpful for you. One of the things that I have found with my patients is they actually think or feel like they have a lot of earwax and it's clogging, it's clogging their ear and it's causing hearing loss or temporary hearing loss. They just can't hear, they're bogged down and they're like, I've got a lot of wax. But ultimately, when we autoscope, so this is a digital tool where you can use it to put put this scope, it's a camera, right inside your ear and you can visualize it here on the screen. When they actually look inside their ears, sometimes it's not always wax buildup. So I just wanna highlight before you assume that you've got a lot of wax buildup, check it. Go ahead and order one of these. I'll post a link down below. You can get these from Amazon. This is a reputable autoscope, a digital autoscope. I like this because it has a record button and you can take a photo. So it zooms in, you can have three light settings. This is great because it's important to identify how much wax you have in it and how successful are these four resources. You might find that one or two of these in combination are more effective than the others. Everybody's body is different. Everybody's earwax buildup is different. The state of your ear skin sloughing and the amount of earwax development, it varies. So you're gonna have to find the right kind of tool box, if you will. But I wanna share with you these four resources because they can each individually or collectively be highly effective. The first DIY resource for you to unblock and clear extreme wax blockage is to use a saline solution flush. This is a salt water flush. Salt water is great, especially if you have a history of the outer ear canal infection, or we call it swimmer's ear, or you have a lot of pus, kind of yellow gunk that also is, is being removed with your earwax. Saline solution can be very powerful at that. It also helps to dry out the ears, and the salt water is very powerful for healing the ear canal, the irritation, and it also helps reduce inflammation of the inner ear canal. The second resource, I've actually done a whole video on that. I'll post it right here and there'll be a link down below. It's to use hydrogen peroxide drops. This is a diluted form of the 3% hydrogen peroxide. And you put these drops in and you're gonna get the effervescent bubbling that if you're like me, I love to know it's working. I love to hear that the, it's, it's doing its thing. It makes me feel like it's being productive. Or sometimes like the saline flush and some of the other ones here, you don't always know if it's, high, if it's highly effective. But again, this is where using an otoscope can be effective for confirming that we're actually getting some of the removal or at least there's a sloughing process. So the hydrogen peroxide recipe, I'll post a link in the description box below. Definitely check out that video, but that can be highly effective. The third option are eardrops. These are eardrops that you can make on your own. I've shared one of these eardrops in a recent video. It's a sodium bicarbonate water slurry, highly effective. I'll post that video right there. There'll be a link for you to watch that video to get that specific recipe. That's a water-based eardrop. The other eardrop that I recommend is an oil-based, and this is a combination where you are either using a garlic oil, garlic infused, oil infused with garlic, or you might be adding like an echinacea and olive oil with a little tea tree. But this is highly effective. The oil-based eardrops lubricate and they're great for softening the earwax. I do find that a lot of patients say that it's not highly effective or they don't find it to be as effective as the hydrogen peroxide, but again, Everybody's a little different, you know, test it out on yourself and see what works best. If you're interested in an oil drop solution that you don't have to DIY, but you can order and gently warm and use in your ears, I'll post a link for my favorite eardrop oil down below. It also includes some 
herbals that are anti-inflammatory and also herbals that cut the pain, which is really great, especially if you're feeling a lot of intense pain, pressure, that comes with blocked earwax. My fourth resource is just a simple water flush. And this is not fancy. You can get some of those over-the-counter flushing. You can get a syringe. I'll post some of the ones I recommend in the description box that you can grab on Amazon. A lot of times you can get them at your pharmacy or even at your local medical durable supply company. But a water solution is often what a lot of ear doctors will use. It's very generic, very basic. It's not going to change the pH. It's not going to deal with any type of inflammation. It's just going to really try and move and kind of blast away the earwax. I put this forth because I definitely don't feel like it's the most effective, but again, everybody's body is different. Your ear canal, the functionality and the kind of mecha mechanical placement of your ear canal, it might work for you. And don't be surprised if one ear canal works a little differently than another one. So it's not uncommon where you might have to do one of these, you might have to do two on another ear. So try it out test these resources. They are great DIY resources and always make sure you scope your ear. You want to identify what's going on, how much wax is in there, and then you'll know how effective these are. And you're just not kind of gauging by how you feel because you can still have earwax in your ear, but you feel like the hearing's released, but the earwax is still in there. Checking and not guessing is highly effective. And if you suffer from ear infections and want a powerful resource to ultimately heal your ears for good, I'm gonna share with you my Ultimate Ear Health Masterclass. There'll be a link for this masterclass in the description box below. I hope you invest in your ear health. Tons of tips. There is a guide with a lot of recipes. I think you're going to really find that extremely helpful as well as assorted ways to just prevent earwax and prevent clogging plugged ears and just ultimately help you get yourself in a situation where you're reducing the risk of hearing loss because earwax can lead to hearing loss. I can't wait to hear how these four resources go for you. Comment in the comment box below. So thank you for your time. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up and help me with the YouTube algorithm. Will you hit that share button, share on your social channels and share with friends and family via email. I'm grateful for your time and I look forward to seeing you on our next video.